Hi, my name is Liz and I work at Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper. Today I'm going to show you a simple way to reuse a t-shirt and make a reusable bag like this. With just a few simple items, a t-shirt and a pair of scissors, you can make a reusable bag to use when you're shopping at a grocery store or when you're running other errands. This is a great way to reduce your single-use plastic consumption and t-shirt bags can get thrown in the washing machine and come out super clean and ready for another use. By reusing items and eliminating single-use plastic from your life, you can have a direct impact on the health of our waterways. Today I'll show you two different bag styles that you can make at home in just a few minutes. One way will have a clean bottom without any knots visible. The second option is a bit more decorative and doesn't have any extra steps, but this bag will have the fringe visible at the bottom. First, we're going to take that t-shirt and we're going to fold it in half. From there, you'll take your scissors and we're going to cut off the sleeves. I just follow along with the sleeve seam. Now, if it's not perfectly even, you won't be able to notice once it's its final t-shirt bag, but your first step is just to cut those sleeves off. Imagine you're making you know, a cut-off t-shirt to work out in. Now, a great way to repurpose these sleeves that you just cut off is to use them around the house as rags. And if they get dirty, you can just throw them in your washing machine to use them again and again. Now that the sleeves are cut off of your t-shirt, you're going to cut the neck area off, and that will be the opening of your bag. So the fabric that is left will be the handles of your bag. To cut the neck off, you can free hand your cut and you can go as deep as you'd like. You can draw yourself a guideline with a marker or if you'd like it to be really precise, you can take a plate or something round and utilize that to make your marks so that you have a line to follow along while you're cutting. Now you're going to cut both sides of the t-shirt at the same time, the front and the back, similar to what we did with the sleeves. All right, so our neck is gone. And again, this can be used as a rag around your house. So now we have our neck and our sleeves cut off. So now you're starting to see how this could look like a bag. These are our handles up at the top. And imagine you'd be putting items inside of that larger neck hole. Okay, so our next step will be to finish the bottom of the bag and seal the bottom. So if you want your design on your t-shirt to be visible, this is the time where we'll turn the t-shirt or tank top now inside out. Once it's inside out, we'll line up those seams. So now we have to cut slits in the bottom of the shirt. To do this, you can just go freehand again, or if you'd like to have a guide telling you how far to cut, 
You can use a ruler, a yardstick, or something with a straight line, and you can make a simple guide mark. So now, if you were to cut the slits, you'll go up to that mark. Now that your t-shirt is cut at the bottom into the slits, we're going to move on to our next step, which is knotting. For this step, we'll take the front and back pieces of the t-shirt and knot them together. I like to start at one end of the shirt and move down to the other end. So we'll simply take the front and back pieces I like to keep my pieces separate so that I don't get mixed up. You'll get into a bit of a rhythm here, and this is good dexterity practice for your hands. All right, so this is our end piece. I see the seam of the shirt. So I'm just gonna cut this in half so that I have a front and back piece. And so I can knot it together. So now all of those slats we cut are knotted and we're going to reinforce these knots on the bottom of the bag because you will notice that there are gaps that things could fall out and those were just single knots so they're not super tight yet. To reinforce the knots at the bottom, we will take one knot strand and tie it to a knot strand on the other knot next to it. Again, using a double knot. So now that section is reinforced. You can double knot any strands at the end to be extra strong. One knot strand, knot strand next to it, and we'll work our way down the bag once again. Now this can get clumped up and a little confusing. So take your time, spread it out, and if you do get a, a little bit mixed up, it's okay. Just keep knotting and you will eliminate those gaps. If it's not perfect, it will still function just fine. I like to just add in an extra knot at the ends for extra reinforcement. Now you can turn your t-shirt right side out and all of those knots and fringe will disappear. And you'll have your neat t-shirt bag that you made in just a few minutes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make your own t-shirt bag and hope you get to crafting soon this is a great way to repurpose a t-shirt that you're not willing to quite part with yet and you can still enjoy the logo or design while you're out shopping or running errands. And remember, when you're done using your bag, throw it in the wash to keep it clean before you reuse it. Happy t-shirt bag making!